Sync bear and sync bear hooks are going to be a utility of Mirror you will be using frequently. They are used to keep variables synchronized on objects across the network, either to all clients or the owning client. To begin, I have an object which is acting as the player prefab. This is the object that spawns when I connect in, demonstrating the sync bear logic. On this object, I have a sprite renderer, which I will change the color of to demonstrate the sync fair. I have a network identity, so that this is a networked object, and I have a sync fair demo script. And note the sync mode is set to observers, so in this example, I'd be synchronized to all clients. I'm going to open up the SyncFair demo script. Up top I have a field named underscore color. It is of type color32. And just above that I have a SyncVair attribute. This indicates that this will be a SyncVair meaning it will be synchronized over the network automatically. Notice the properties hook equals name of set color. Set color is the method which will be called on clients after the server updates this sync fair's value. If you do not need to know when a sync fair updates on clients, you can simply leave the hook part out and just use sync fair as demonstrated here. It's important to remember that sync fair will update automatically on clients, but only if you change the value on the server. In addition, if a new player joins later in the game, they will receive that updated value as well, and the hook will call too. Going down to set color, you can see that it has two parameters. The first one is old color, the second is new color. You can name these whatever you like, however the first entry will always be the old value before the change, and the second entry will be the new value. And again, keep in mind that this is called from the hook, so this will be called on clients only. And this method, when I receive the hook, so meaning that the color value has changed, I will get the sprite renderer on this object, and I will set the renderer color to the new color. Like I said before, you'll have to set the value on the server for it to synchronize to clients. So on start server, I am starting curatine randomize color. That's just down here. This will run indefinitely. It will wait a few seconds and then it will change the color field to a random color. And since that color field is a sync fair, it will update automatically to clients. Now that you've seen the script, let's see this code in action. I have a build up and on the build I'm going to run this as a server. And since this is a server only, you won't see the sprite render until a player joins since that is a player object. So I'm going to go ahead and connect a client. As discussed, the server is changing the color every two seconds and then that is being updated to clients. Notice that the sprite render is updating on the client, but it's not on the server. As mentioned before, the hook will only call on clients, including client host. As you can see in the code, I'm not actually updating the sprite renderer color in the curatine, which is running on the server. The server updates the field, which will update the sync for on clients. And if a hook is present, that will call on the clients as well. 